give an excellent performance yes. in the name of the Lord. Yes. Yes. And so today we say that she fought many battles, yes. but she is a victor today. Yes. She is overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of her testimony. So we say thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah for what he has done. And so we stand as a congregation and blend our voices with our opening hymn. Blessed are thy thoughts. Journey. Amen. Amen. 
I invite now Ms. Keisha Arthur Rule, the cousin, to come and to share in our hearing Psalms 27, verses 1 through 7. Psalms 27, verse 1 through 7, Evangelist Silver Nouveau will come and share that reading with us. stand and sing again the hymn, My God, I Know I Feel Divine, stanzas one, two, and three. My God, I Know I Feel
steadfastly served him. And she did everything that she could to encourage others to come to know the Lord. I invite you to stand now for our gospel reading, which comes from St. John chapter 15, verse 13, verse 16 and 17. And this will be read by Mrs. Cindy Pinder, the adopted daughter. John chapter 15, reading from verses 13, 16 to 17. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit shall remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I commend you, that you love one another. The word of life. You may be seated. Many years ago, and Shelly said to us one day down in the bottom by Mama Rain, she said, she was going through some challenges, and she said, one thing she know, when you leave Hatchet Bay, make sure you make heaven. <laughs> and we didn't understand it, then we laughed it off. She said, when you leave Hatchet Bay, make sure you make heaven. Right. Because there were so many challenges. Yes. And sometimes when church folk turn against you, then when the community turn against you, where could you go but to the Lord? And so this next hymn is a part of her testimony that heaven is really going to shine because she enjoyed to the end. She made it. And I believe that after all of this life and all of its strife, heaven will surely be worth it all.
Coast, and so many others who wanted to be here today, but due to the COVID-19 regulations, they are not here, but their prayers are with Reverend yes. Johnson, and we know that God will sustain you at this time. And now this morning, our eulogy is coming from a family friend and the second vice moderator of the Bethel Baptist Association, and he is in the person of our very own pastor, Philip Bethel. We invite you at this time. Thank you, Pastor Bethel. Prior to the starting of the service, we had a technology glitch, and persons away from the island did not get a chance to see the opening service, did not get a chance to see uh, Sister Shell for the last time. With permission of our speaker, we're just gonna open the casket briefly so that for technological reasons, we'd be able to have this as part of the permanent service. Please, all persons with cell phones, to shut them down. There, should, there can only be one telecast of this service. All other cell phones has to be shut down, please. Thank you for your cooperation. Just tone in afresh 
And this was our testimony, some glad morning. When this life is over, I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna fly away. So let's sing it like we know it the first and the last answer. Remembering our sister, if she was on that organ this morning, oh, oh, I should be just shouting and singing. Praise the Lord. Some glad morning. Let's stand. Because of what is happening, the world we're living in, 
the cops may be sparked, but if this was an ordinary funeral service, this church could not contain the persons who would be here this morning. So to the minister, the gospel here assemble on the podium and those who are in the audience, to my listening friends, today we come to be with Pastor Eric Johnson and his family and to let them know that God never fails. He's with you now, he was with you yesterday and he's gonna be with you in the future. So today as we come, we just thank God for your testimony. Yes. And that's why we're here today to, to be with you and to encourage you and to encourage St. Stephen's and to be encouraged, to encourage one another yes. in the Lord. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna invite evangelists, uh, their sister, to read the scripture for us. S sister, um, would you come now and read for us a very brief portion uh, uh, but I promise you we wouldn't be very long. But we'll move as the Spirit leads. That portion is taken from the epistle to the Roman saints, written by the Apostle Paul. And if you turn to uh, chapter 16, Sister um, Newbold, uh, which just wishes one and two, please. Thank you very much. Amen. Good morning, one more time. Good morning. Good morning. I commend unto you, Phoebe, our sister, yes. which is a servant of the church, which is at Sanstria, that ye receive her in the Lord as becometh saints, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she had need of you. For she had been a sorcerer of many, and of myself also. Amen. Thank you very much, Evangelist Lubo. We thank God for his word. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks for your word. Since heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God will stand forever. So, Father, we thank you now for what we would be led to say. May your Holy Spirit alone take the lead. Not that I may be seen, but that, Father, the reflection of our dear sister is labored long and hard. She's gone on to receive a reward. A bless her dear husband, a bless this church where she labored so long, her family, her friends. Oh, Father, we thank you for her life and for her witness. We praise you now as we come. We ask it all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let God's people say amen. 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 Again, to the um, ministers of the gospel here, assemble our waiting congregation and those who may be hearing us uh, at a distance through some means, because today we live in a technology age and the word of God will be spread from island to island from time to time. The scripture that has been read is very fitting because we have read from the Apostle Paul's writing to the Roman saints. Say the Roman saints, church. And he was writing to commend those who had labored with him in the work of the Lord of the Lord. Is anybody here in the work of the Lord say hallelujah? Is anybody here in the work of the Lord say praise the Lord? And that sister, her name was Phoebe. Phoebe was a faithful servant in the work of the Lord. Does that sound a little bit like Sister Shelley? Yes. Uh, could she identify? Yes. So this morning, if I were to take a topic, it would be one like this. Sister Cheryl Dean Johnson, a saintly woman of God. A saintly woman of God. I came to know of Cheryl 60 years ago, some before most of you were born. I met her through her grandmother who was a faithful woman of God, who was a member of St. Stephen's Baptist Church. Cheryl came to know the Lord at a very early age. Cheryl served under a number of Baptist ministers. She became 
a part of the Sunday school. She became a Sunday school teacher. She became in the church what a lot of people didn't want to do. She swept the floors, she cooked the food, she cared for evangelists, and she attended services regularly. Sometimes there were only two or three, but her goal was on flying away yes. to be with the Lord. Yes. So this morning as we come, uh, we, that she has gone on and uh, the recommendations that the Apostle Paul was given to the saints on behalf of Phoebe. I want to give the recommendations to heaven this morning to receive one of God's yes. saints. Yes. Yes. One of God's saintly women yes. who was not afraid to walk the streets of Alice Town or any other town and say what the Lord has done for her. Shelly grew up and Shelly became a community advocate. She, she, she did all she could for the community. She worked her way in her job, Patelco, for many years. Shelly was so outstanding that she became the supervisor in Alice Town and Hatchet Bay, but Patelco was really Patelco. She retired, she received her package, and most of that she devoted to the things of the Lord. Shelley was a saint. Yes, a saintly woman of God has gone home. Say hallelujah. We all know her. So Shelley worked with a number of Baptist pastors here in this very church, not this same building perhaps, but that's why I turned earlier to sing that song, We're Standing on Holy Ground. She worked under the late Pastor Louis Pinder. She worked under the late um, Reverend Leroy Carey. She worked under oh, the uh, supervision of the late Reverend Lambert Farrington. And oh, oh she did. You would ask them, who were one of the faithful saints in your congregation? I asked Pinder this morning, Louis Pinder. He would have to say, this young woman that have come home, this sister, I remember. And many didn't show up, she was there. Yes. And I go on to Pastor Carey. Say, have you heard anything of this new saint that had just entered the glory land? He says, oh yes. She played the music. She sang the songs of Zion. She knew that hymn, holy, holy. What the angels sing. I expect to help the courts of heaven. And I sing redemption story. Oh, she was a redeemed saint of God. We need to ask my recently departed brother, or oh, an outstanding man of God, Reverend Number for eight and he said, Shelly! Oh, she was one of my armor bearers. She worked. She labored. In her community. In her home, in her church. Then came the time. Then came the time when she would have the honor of seeing a husband, my good friend, a friend to all the churches in the group, yes. Reverend Eric Johnson. Yes. Oh, you can go to Harbor Island and they know of him. Yes. You could go to the Bluff. Yes. You could go to every Baptist church in Eleuthera. Yes. Eric Johnson has shown up, Pastor Eric Johnson. Yes. Oh, give him a hand this morning. Yes. We got to be with you, Pastor. And then you move. When you travel, you didn't travel alone. Oh, you had a saintly woman of God. Her name was Cheryl Dean Johnson. Oh, she shined. She was salt. Yes, baby. She had a testimony. She was a saintly woman. I was at the barber shop yesterday getting shaped up, and I met one of her co workers. And I said, you remember Sister Johnson? He said, I heard your name on the radio. I said, yes, we're going to celebrate our life tomorrow morning to celebrate. Yes. Yes. Celebrate. Yes. The saint of God. Yes. Oh, just give her a hand this morning. Yes. What name of Play the music. Oh, to the life of her heart has been her husband. Yes. Yes. Well-deserving man of God. He was elevated. He was promoted in the work of the Lord. Yes. I say he was promoted in the work of the Lord. Yes. And I want to say to my brethren and my sisters, 
this morning during this pandemic season. Don't be discouraged. What that you're doing, it is the work of the Lord. Could I get an amen this morning? Don't be discouraged. Your sister Shelly was to give you a word this morning. He says, heaven will surely be with the Lord. But then again I say, when her husband became the pastor of this church, oh, she, oh, she was so elated. She was so delighted. What a joy to be able, yes, to be a neighbor in the work of the Lord from Sunday school, from a Sunday school student to become the wife of the pastor of St. Stephen's. What a life. Say what a life, church. Say what a life, pastors. Oh, people like Sister Shelley are few and far between. Whether it's Sunday school, whether it's prayer meeting, whether it's Bible study, whether it's a gospel meeting, whether it's street meeting, whether it, it, it is the time to go uh, to Cupid's Key with Pastor Kippy and to celebrate or to come to Palmetto Point uh, in, by restoration or revival or to go to Harbor Island or elsewhere. She was by his side. Yes. Oh, God. Pastor Thompson. Be his. Stay. Yes, I know you're going to miss him. Yes, a pastor needs a good wife. But God doesn't make any mistakes. He only takes the best. So pastor, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Yes, when you begin to shine as the pastor, God came in and plucked one of the most beautiful flowers in the Baptist fellowship in the Bahamas because he was a saint. And the apostle Paul few words in commending those in the work of the Lord. Yeah. This woman headed to this sister Phoebe and Mr. Shelley was of the same ilk. Yeah. A woman who loved the Lord. A woman who took care of God's saints, God's evangelists. They lived in their home. She took care of them. She ministered to them. Yeah. And she was a businesswoman, yeah. Sister Phoebe. And the Apostle Paul, knowing this woman, she said she was a laborer. There were times when she secured me when I went when my back was against the wall. Sister Phoebe, Sister Shelley. Yes, you might as well say amen, church. Amen. Oh, yes. She came and no one else came. She showed up, and what I liked about her, she was not a gossip person. You can say amen to that. Yeah. She has something to tell you, she'll tell you quietly. Yes. And she'll be up front. Yes. Yes. See, because in this same portion, when you go home, read it. Yes. There were not only faithful people in the church, but there were some hypocrites. Yes. Yes. I don't want to deal with that this morning. We're talking about a saint of God. Yes. A woman who you can always go to for good advice. Yes. Yes. A saint of God that you can always depend on. Yes. Oh God, if we had more sister shepherds, more sister shepherds, ready to pray, ready to sing. Yes, ready to do the will of the Lord. Yes, this morning we come, bitter sweet experience. Oh, I look across there with my sister sitting playing the organ, she's doing a good job. But sister Shelley, she knew most of the tunes. Yes, and this morning, She's a miss. Yes, she's a miss. But she has done her work. I say she's done her work. And I can imagine those who have led this church over the years, this young woman started at a very early age. And she, the Lord took her. Transition, yes. Her body might have died, but her spirit, hallelujah. Oh, she's in the glory land. She's in the glory land. And I believe if, if it's possible, because ain't none of us died yet to go to heaven, we're still here. Sister Shelley, I believe, is looking down. She says, yes, Brother Bethel, thanks for your recommendation. Not something we had to patch together this morning. She lived a life. A saintly woman. Moved on to glory. Moved on to glory. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We came here this morning to celebrate her life and to be with her dear husband. It must be an experience, you know. And you know, when a pastor has a wife that he could depend on, a wife that's going to give him good advice, you know, a wife that, 
that, that, that was molded and grounded in the things of God. Man, that in itself gives a pastor a plus. Yes. Every pastor can say that, Pastor Eric. Every pastor can say that, Pastor, pastor Carl. Oh, yes, my brother. Thank God. Say thank God for Christian women. Saints of God. Without these women in the church, what will we do? Pastor. Pastor Orlando. What will we do? But oh, we just thank God. The Apostle Paul turned this woman as we this morning do with our dear sister. She was a saint of the highest order. So this morning, you need not run on. Nobody here to pull them a coat. Holy Spirit. This pandemic, pandemic or no pandemic, we got to preach the gospel. I said we got to preach the gospel. Amen. It is because of a lack of preaching the gospel that this pandemic has come upon us. God is speaking to all of us. This morning as we come, we say to God be the glory. But this saintly woman, this saintly woman who did all that she could. Oh, who was wonderful. All that she could for the work of the Lord. So on behalf of Baptists everywhere, and those who are not Baptists, all those that have been born again, we're not here this morning with any labels. No, we're here as people of God, commanding a saint of God. A saint of God who's gone home to glory. Yes, to be forever. Say forever. forever. With the Lord. Amen, so let it be. Life from the dead is in that word, immortality. Here in the body pen, say absent from my room, but nightly pitch my moving tent. And it's just, just, just remember, my brothers and my sisters, each day, each day brings us nearer home. But there's a blessed hope. Oh, yes. Which hope we have an anchor. Not for the body. This body can fade away with the day. That butt of the cemetery a little while and we're gonna put it back in the dust. Yeah. But a spirit, yeah. a spirit, yeah. oh, can you feel it this morning? Yeah. That spirit which moves within you and moves among us this morning, even as a time of pandemic, can't do nothing with the spirit. No. Maybe able to destroy the body, but the soul. No. Oh, I thank God this morning yeah. for the saintly woman. Yeah. After living here for 60 plus years, Oh, I say hallelujah. hallelujah. This morning she's moved on to glory. Yeah. Say glory. 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 Where she's going to live. Where she's going to live forevermore. May her soul rest in peace on behalf of my dear wife who would have loved to be here this morning, but those hamstrings in her leg. She had them over 70 years. She meant to get weak. But her heart is with you. That's the sponsor. Prayers. Yes. This morning, not just my wife, but many, many saints of God, many evangelists, the memories, precious memories, wonderful memories. Oh, you had a wonderful wife. You had a wonderful aunt, Sister Audrey. Oh, these people of God coming to Alice Town and hearing them sing and preach and witness for the Lord. Another saint. Is going home to receive a reward. Yes. Rest in peace.
beautiful by kindly deeds, a helping hand for others' needs. To a beautiful life comes a happy end. She died as she lived, everyone's friend. I am indeed grateful to bring the word of thanks on behalf of the family of the late Cheryl Dion Johnson. Like many of us, we are at home watching with tears in our eyes, heavy hearts, our prayers are with you. It is truly hard not being present in person. Shelly was kind, gentle, generous, and nurturing. She was the most humble person that I have ever known. I was introduced to her at the age of seven. I can attest that I am indeed blessed because of her. I would like to thank everyone present 
in this service today, your presence means a lot. Special thanks goes out to the following persons and groups. Moderator, Mrs. Sotrell Clark. Pastor Marvin Kemp, Pastor Kimberly Johnson for your fervent prayers. Reverend Philip Engel for the eulogy and inspiring words. Apostle Brenda Woodside and church family. Reverend Melvin Brand, officers and members of St. Stephen Baptist Church here, Bella Baptist Church, Community Churches of Hatchet Bay. Staff at the Hatchet Bay Clinic. Thanks goes out to the community of Hatchet Bay, which will include both family and friends and the surrounding areas. Thank you goes out to Curtis Mortuary and Crematorium and to our poor bearers. Last but not least, to everyone who have extended words of comfort, flowers, prayers, and donated in your special way. We appreciate you. We are indeed grateful. Shelly will forever live in our hearts. May she rest in peace. Amen. 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 Can we say amen? amen? Amen. Again, we want to acknowledge the presence of all the ministers of the gospel who come from near and far. And those who may be listening in, and I'm sure, Pastor, that you're in the prayers as well as. St. Stephen's Church and prayers of all who come to know your wife and to be affiliated with her. And I want to acknowledge in particular uh, the officers and members of the church that I pastor, the People's Restoration Baptist Church almost 20 years ago when we began that ministry. Sister Shelley was one of the first to come and to encourage us to help us in singing and music, even the ministry of the word along with us. And of course, uh, here this morning is Reverend um, Carl Sands, who is my associate pastor, and others who would have liked to be here this morning, including my wife already mentioned, Reverend um, associate pastor, Elvis Cooper and his wife, and of course, Reverend Father Davis, and the remainder of our congregation to God be all the glory. So this morning, how can we say thanks? God will reward those for faithfulness. At this time now, pastor of this church, her uh, late husband, the person of my friend and brother, the Reverend Eric Johnson, he'd like to come now and do as the Lord, as the Spirit leads him. Uh, pastor um, um, Eric Johnson, would you come now, Pastor?
Dodson? Leave this house, leave this place, never to return again. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost.